together? Um, you know, when we played them uh, back, in, back in 06, it was, you know, like you said, you know, a second career start or something. And he's matured a lot. You can tell that um, when, you're, when you're a new quarterback in the system, you know, it's going to take a while for the guys to kind of rally around you and truly believe in them. And, uh, he's got the, you know, the respect of not only his teammates, but really the whole country. And he's done a tremendous job of uh, you know, playing within the system and making the good throws. And, uh, Definitely, you know, a better player in, in the same respect. Uh, you know, so am I. Just kind of just growing, and as you, you know, stay within the system for you know, a few years, you're just going to get better if you work hard. He's got that work ethic to do that. James, to, to man, the Texas guys were just in here. They said that uh, without a doubt, your this defense is better than Oklahoma's, Ohio State's, and that this will be the best defense they face. Contrary, where, where do you rate their offense? You think? Um, they're, they're, you know, probably the probably the hard side of the best that we've seen. You know, not just saying it because you know, they said that about us, but they, uh, you know, you look, at, you look at the production that they've had against the teams they've done it against. And, um, you know, with who they have at, at quarterback and the way that he's, you know, Colts been able to distribute the ball and the way he's been able to you know, run the ball for them and just make plays. And uh, they, they really are, um, you know, they're a force. You know, they're gonna make plays. And we know that. And you have to be. Um, they have to be calm. You got to be able to handle the, you know, the plays that they do have. You know, full make because it's going to be a, a game where uh, you're not going to be able to, to keep a team, you know, like that or, or a quarterback or a player you know, on offense uh, down the whole time. So you got to just keep battling them. Uh, they, they look extremely good on film. Is this the is this the big, I mean, the, the big draw, the big matchup? Your your defense against their offense. I mean, is that the, as you um, see it? I mean, that's that's something that you know maybe. Uh, Maybe the, the media will put into it. I think, you know, the whole final thing, I think anytime you put Ohio State Texas, no matter what, you know, in a, in a game, I think it's going to draw out, you know, big time ratings and stuff just because of the, you know, the way the programs you know, are, the way the programs have been in the past. And, um, it's an exciting matchup, you know, their offense and our defense, but, um, you know, we're definitely going to have our hands full. James, he's at about 80%. Completion percentage on the year. I don't, I don't know if you play video games. No, I can't. I can't do that with my. I created a quarterback too. And I still can't. Play eighty percent. Now he's he's uh, extremely efficient with the ball. You know he makes throws, and I think a lot of time you look at college quarterbacks, they're not patient enough to you know hit the check down and hit the you know short routes. You know everyone wants to make the big play. Uh, well, he'll do that when it's there, but then he's also patient enough to hit the you know the easy throws, the guys to the you know the running backs to the quick guys and stuff, the, the throws that will get up, you know, yards over time, and um, he's extremely efficient with it, and he's, he's a great ball player. Have you seen anyone that efficient at any level, even go back to high school pros? I mean, it, it just seems out of this world. Definitely not in high school in Minnesota. <laughs> 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 no way. You find a bunch of wing T offenses and stuff like that. Um, but I think, you know, he, he's, I mean, he's the most accurate passer I think you know, we, we played against, and um, you know, even, even seen, you know, I don't know too many guys that go through a whole season, you know, 80%. If you look at people that go through a game and throw 80%, people are like, wow, what a whole season. Um, that's another story. It's just remarkable. James, can you talk about uh, Coach Tressel and not just him as a football coach, but even as a physicist on learning life's lessons in that tenure? What kind of impact has he made? Oh, he's, uh, I think for a lot of guys, especially guys from, you know, out of the state uh, and stuff, he's, he's a, you know, a second father to a lot of players and I say that with the fact that um, you know he's not a guy that has too many you know rules where it's like you do this and you're kicking off the team or do that kicking off the team but it's like when you're out there making a decision about what you're gonna do you always it's kind of kind of you always think about coach trust in the back of your mind. You know you always think about well if I if I make this decision you know what would he think and stuff. And he just puts life into perspective. You know there's so many things that we hit in team meetings sometimes where he'll say it and he'll be like, you know, I don't really even see how this relates to football right now and then Few weeks later, you look back and be like, you know, you exactly right. uh, it makes you grow and challenges you to grow in every other area of your life. And, um, academics is for sure one of the most important thing you know, there. And, um, you know, he's you know, extremely proud of you know, our team having a you know a high GPA, you know, came together. And, uh, he challenges you to grow in your, you know, your spiritual life. It doesn't matter you know what you believe, but he's much important. He wants you to grow, and, um, you know, making the right decisions, staying in touch with your family. And, Truly, he's, he's, he's a great individual and a man of extremely high class.